Okay. What the heck? What the? What? Hello, and welcome back to Guns and Gaming. This is part two of my Let's Play. So, without further ado, let us play Jedi Fallen Order. Haha! -ha. But yo! Okay. I gotta remember what to do here because I kind of forgot. But, um, I believe I fixed the audio this time, guys. So, you're gonna have a better time hearing me and the game as well. I don't really know where to go here. But yeah, you should be able to hear the game now and me. So here we go. Oh, he's cutting all these plants. Um, I guess I go this way. Wow! Whoa, is that a <laughs> I was about, well, I was about to say, I already died. Wow. That's whack, dude. It's like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. That's right. Just focus. Focus on your life's problems and everything will come to place. Isn't that right? Oh, save point. Save points are located throughout Cal's journey. Make sure to interact with them to save your progress. Save points are where Cal can rest and spend skill points to acquire new skills. Oh. Did I get a new skill now? Skill tree. Alright, let's see. Um, spare your skill point to learn overhead slash. Is that it or? Can I view the ability? Oh, nice! It cut off his head! Oh, yeah. Ah, I'm ready. I'm gonna learn this. Nice! How do we do it? Uh, I guess just Y? Wait, can I learn more skills? No, no, this is zero. Okay. Alright, well, onward. Let's do it to it. Oh. A cutscene. What the heck? Hey, BD1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on! Did you just slice that? Alright. Look, I got a new friend! I think his name was BD1. I don't know what BD1 stands for. Big Dick 1! <laughs> Big Dick 1, where'd you go? Can I climb this? I can. Yeah! Spider-Man. There he is! Big Dick! See her mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. New objective added to the hollow map. Reach the vault. Okay. I can do that. Uh, your current objective can always be seen on BD1's hollow map. So I guess try experimenting with the hollow map controls. Move. Zoom. Rotate. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this way. That's a long way, guys. Well. The hollow map also shows unexplored pathways and important landmarks. Okay. Save point, unexplored path, unexplored path. Cool. Alright! Well, wait, let me look at the map again. BD1 is busy. Well, be unbusy! Wait, why are you busy? Guys, what the heck is that? Is that a dragon? I... Well, it could be. Where do you... Should we go this way, BD1, or...? What is the path this? Let's go this way. Fuck it. Well, I almost... <laughs> Y'all saw that? I almost... What the heck are these? I sense something over here. Oh. That's a really big bug. There we go. Nice! No. Well. Oh god! 
Oh god. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're gonna kill me! What the fuck? In the pack fought back. Oh god. What's up? I am not gonna lose to you. Yeah. Through a rare ability known as psychometry, Cal can receive information from the force when he touches certain items. I don't know what I touched there, guys. It was. It was an accident. I almost. I almost. <laughs> I almost got hit because I was trying or killed because I was trying to do the thingy. Um, all right, well, I'm glad I went this way. Sweet. Sweet. No way through here. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. I guess all right, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Yeah, I'm sorry, Big Dick One. I'll listen to you for now on, because you are the big dick. You have the big dick. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, guys. But yeah, oh, don't fall. So how do I get health? Because this was the problem last time. I I died because I didn't have any health with me. Um, yeah. I, I like when the lightsaber comes up. Get across this gap somehow. Let's see, go this way. A zip line. Oh, that's really bright, guys. Oh, I can use him to. That's it. Ah. How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? Oh, really? So I guess he tried to. Well, listen, Cal. If you don't do, you don't succeed. Right? Right. Alright, let's meditate here for a bit. Um. Oh, I guess that's how we can. Life and force have been restored. Enemies have spawn. Oh no. Well, I yeah. It's like Dark Souls. Okay. Well. Um. I guess that's good. Go through here. Door is locked from the other side. It's locked down. Okay. He wants me to go this way. Let's go. Yeah. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Oh, I hate these freaking things. Oh god, don't kill Go BD1. Yeah, use your Hadouken. Oh god, he ate him. No! BD1, I got you, buddy. No one does that to my friend. Yeah. Jump over you. Dental appointment. Yeah. Where's BD1 at? Is he okay? Big dick? Are you okay, big dick? Where'd you go? What's over here? Stop this. Oh, there you are! Are you okay? Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? Oh no, his leg! Wait, I can help you with that. Oh. Will you let me? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, this complex is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, try that. The vault? Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Nice. So I fixed my friend's leg. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I fixed his leg, so that's good. Uh, BD, that's and a little small for me. Don't worry. I'll find my own way out. He rewards me by escaping. Fit, but this should work. Can I go in? There was a thing I saw here. Hold on. What did I say? Customized lightsaber. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, because I had a new game plus, I can customize my lightsaber. Um, yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stay with the normal uh, master lightsaber. So, you know, that way it's, you know, it's uh, it's part of my master. I haven't seen him in years, so you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be mine. His lightsaber. So we're good. So yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's this, guys? 
an echo. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. I mean, I feel like you can kind of get that without the echo. Um, someone lived here for some time, using this larder for storage and provisions. Nice. Oh, there's more. Death blocks. A death blocks killed by boglins when it attempted to raid their nest. Oh. Oh, we got ponchos, guys. Hey, look at that. All right, well, let's do this one. Yeah. Can I change my outfits? Oh, well, I guess not. What's up, BD1? Let's change you to something cool. What matches my lightsaber? Nothing? Okay. And the mantis, we're gonna change to to this one. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Let's continue. No, nope, not this way. Um, I don't know where to go. Oh, I guess over here. Because there's be I saw BD one. That's why. Let's do it, bud. Yeah. Vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Well, let's do it. There's like a. Oh, God! I, oh, my God. Well, I forgot to. <laughs> Oops. I forgot to, to. To to grab the vine. Because you gotta grab it every time. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be by itself. Alright, let's go this way. Um, can I go through here? Can it kill me? Oh, God! That wasn't good. What the heck? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, thanks, BD1. You can fly? Wow. Heal. Oh, that's where we get health. Healing stem. You're full of surprises. Nice. That's better. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh. Okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. All right. So, how'd you get here? So now. Remember? We Never have healing stems. I guess that's how we can... Oh, hold on. The Journey Begins, Chapter 1. Cal Kestis, a former Jedi Padawan, has been hiding out on Brekka since Order 66. Cal joined a scrapping crew and lived in hiding for years, but blew his cover when he used the Force to save his friend Poff from a deadly fall. This prompted the ruthless Second and Ninth Sisters to attack him. Cal was narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals, Seer Junda and Grease... <laughs> Grease Dritus. <laughs> Grease Nuts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, they find themselves on the remote planet Bogano, ready to discover the secrets of an ancient vault. Wow. Can't I mean, I, with that. I, I, we kind of already saw that, but it's okay. No, reading is, reading is good for the soul, guys. Alright. Let's keep going. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, wasn't I already here? Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? Uh, I guess it's already been looted. It's probably from my first playthrough many years ago that I forgot about, so... Let's cut this. Oh, I got the shortcut unlocked. Oh, nice. Oh, let's keep going up then. Guys, we're getting closer to the vault. That's where we need to go. Oh, God. I can feel it. Lagging. Why am I lagging? All right, we're getting closer and closer, guys. Nice. I feel like I missed so many secrets. I feel like there's no way that it's it's already we're already this close. Oh, here we go. 
Ugh. Guys, the vault is literally right there. It's literally right there, guys. Oh, what's this? Not everywhere we've been. Oh, nice. Blocked. Certain paths will be unaccessible. Oh, I didn't read it, guys. Oh, there's different heights. Oh, this is gonna be a long game, isn't it? No objective. We can't agile. make it over there. We gotta find another way. Of course we do. Uh, main objective, player location, and block save point. Okay. Well, let's continue, I guess. Um, I guess this way. I don't know if I can. Can I jump this? Nope. That was. Oh, well, I guess I don't die right away. So that's good. I guess I just lose a little bit of health, but I mean the health is important. So, um, I don't really know where to go, guys. To be honest with you, we came from that way. Can we go this way? No. Am I supposed to jump down? Oh, I made it! Oh shit! Nice. All right. Okay. I don't. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Let's go this way. Oh god! What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh god. Oh god! Roly poly oly. Hiya! I am so. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so bad right now. He's scanning something. I'm looking. That's how you do it. Oh! Well, if you guys. I don't know if you guys want me to read these, but I'll, I'll read them for this video. Splocks are large, agile insects usually found in groups and known to launch coordinated attacks to overwhelm their prey. They are omnivorous and use small, thin, sprite-like wings to hover over terrain. They are able to contact, contort, sorry. They're able to contort their shape to quickly stagger their enemies, providing time for others in the pack to strike. They're fucking ugly, dude. They're like one of those spiders. You know what I'm talking about? The like the weird little crab spiders? Okay, well let's let's continue. Can I block those by the way? I'm not, I'm not blocking. I should probably block more. Maybe that's what it is. Find an opening. Alright, we're we'll practicing on this guy. Come here! Oh god! What the what? Oh I can't block these. What's up? What's up? Oh god, dude. Don't die. No. Okay, what's up? What's up? What's up? Come on. Dude, I've been... Come on. Block. Block. Come on. You ain't got you ain't got none of this. Yes. Yeah. They ain't got none. I ain't got none. I'm a jet. Oh, I got some packs. That's right. I can revive. Nice. But we're, gonna, we're gonna use one because we only have two. So we're just we're just using one so far. Um, I don't think I can make this jump. But there's this guy right here. I kind of wanna try to risk it for the biscuit, guys. Risk it for the biscuit. Nice. Do I get like XP every time I do this, or I don't know. Let's keep going. Biscuit for the biscuit. Biscuit for the biscuit. Oh, you guys remember that guy, uh... Oh, what was his name? Tabuscus. Nugget bi- Ah! Oh, they scared me. I already killed these. Nugget biscuit. Nugget in a biscuit. Nugget bi- Can I make this? Is that a safe point right there? What's that echo? Someone made camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A binog, they called it. What the heck's a binog? Traces of a camp used by someone excited to study a large creature there. Okay, we already read that. Uh. Well. What's a binog? I don't want to find out what a binog is. That sounds. Yeah, that sounds scary as heck, dude. No way. Binog. You're a binog. 
I don't know where to go, guys. Let's just keep going up, I guess. Buy knock biscuits, buy knock biscuits, buy knock biscuits. Stim! Oh, God, I fell. <laughs> Fuck. I'm still glad there's no fall damage. <laughs> right. <laughs> because. Dude, they're like waiting for me to. Ambush! Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 There's some more little creatures, dude. They're waiting for me to get up. Can you slice this? <laughs> some leaks. Sorry about your scalp link. Might be your upper right up to that bog rat. Pretty brave. Okay. So I guess I. Well. Cool. Let's keep going, guys. Um. I guess this way. Am I just back to where I was? Don't tell me. Oh no. Oh no. I better know where to go. I guess we're gonna go this way. Assassin's Creed. Well, this is new. Oh, thank God, a meditation camp. I can get my stims back. No, blah, 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 we already know that. Okay, skill tree. So can I, do I have more skill? Nope, I don't have a level up yet. Um, Cal dash forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. That's actually really good, because I have to close the distance sometimes right now. Or should I get more mind or health? What's this? Cal's maximum life is increased. I should probably get that instead. Alright, well, we'll see. We'll see. When we have the points, we'll see. Alright, let's go over here. This is not. <laughs> Since I go. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Yeah, but. Oh, God. Yeah, but who's going to the vault? You know what I mean? Like, who's here with me? That's the scary part that no one's telling us about. Is it gonna be like a boss? I'm always expecting a boss to show up because, you know, they always like to hide bosses everywhere. Oh, there's a lot of enemies, guys. Oh, come on! Yeah, Assassin's Creed! Dental appointment! What the heck is that? What is that? Wait, I didn't get my stims back. Oh, I forgot to rest! Oh, okay, no! Well, a bog rat will barrel into the ground as a deception before attacking. Oh, that's new. Okay. Easy to parry, avoid being surrounded. A common pest, a bog rat is a simple predator that feeds off small creatures like boglins. Their poor eyesight makes them easy prey to their natural enemy, the odd go. Often attacking in packs, they will surround their force, the blah blah blah, they will surround their foes. In numbers, appearing to retreat, they are known to borrow below the ground as a sly defense before springing to attack, surprising their prey. Their hardened skin makes them somewhat resistant to lightsaber attacks. Oh. So that's kind of neat how they implemented the attack thing. So I guess normal people are obviously not resistant to lightsaber attacks, but... Look, it's a slide there. But animals are resistant, so we gotta... What the heck? Run for it. Oh, I'm attacking this thing. Yeah, I didn't do no damage to the I'm nope. Oh god. Oh god. What's up? Oh god, another one. Yeah, right. Yeah, fight him for me. We'll attack them together. We'll attack them together. What's up? Oh, God. That scared the heck out of me. Come on. I got this. 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 What the heck? Oh, what the heck? What does that tongue do? What's up? That's a red. That's a red. Oh! 
Oh, I can. You're. A, oh, what's up? Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Parried. Ah. Oh. Get. F you know, get lasered. Oh, there's the Octo. Oh, they weren't that bad to fight, actually. Sever the tongue with combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. We can do that. Highly dangerous lightsaber resistant. No, no, yeah, duh. The Octo is a highly threatened alpha predator at the top of the Bogano food chain. This creature attacks with an adhesive tongue capable of reaching 8 meters in length that latches onto its prey, then pulls them onto its jaws. The form of strike is particularly effective against most foes. Due to its thick hide, it is able to resist a straight on lightsaber attack, and it's extremely dangerous at close range, often leaping at a target too close to distance. We should, I should, you know, people should just hunt this thing and use its skin. I kind of want to cough the tongue now. It's so ugly. Look at that thing. It looks like one of those, the, the Simpsons creatures, or Futurama creatures. Lur! From the planet Omicron Percy I 8. That's a. I'm Lur from the planet Omicron Percy I 8. Uh, Alright, let's keep going, guys. That wasn't that, that wasn't actually that bad. Um. I guess we're supposed to go here. Yeah, scan it. I can't get it to work. Okay, well, of course we can't get it to work. Like, right, you know, that's my luck, I guess. Oh, can we sneak up on it? Sneak up on it, sneak up on it, sneak up on it. Ah, no! What you do? I swear to God, if I die, I'm going to be highly upset because I'm pretty sure I spawned at a recent meditation spot. And the recent meditation spot is actually pretty far. Oh, there's one here. Meditate. And rest up. Nice. But now, every, you know, everyone is uh, back together. I don't know how did we go back. Is he back there? Oh, he's there. Can I fuck with him, though? Oh, he was so easy this time, guys. Look at that. I'm a master. But does he give me, like, XP again, or? Uh, well. Whatever, let's go back up. I want to cut off the tongue. So... I mean, I guess we'll try it again, and we'll try to cut off the tongue. Or no, nah, you know what? No, let's just let's just continue moving forward. I'm sure I'll find more to to fight. So, um, I don't know where to go, guys. Can I go over here? Nope. Okay. Or well, there's something there that I need to get. Um, let's go this way. Can I reach this? No, I can't. Of course, I can't. See if I can go back. Grab it! Oh god! Oh god! You wanna go after me? Yeah, I learned how to do the thingy. I can actually parry now, because I forgot that we can parry. I'll check it out. So, now we're parrying stuff, because we're badass. Para fish! There's fish now? Para fish inhabit large bodies of water, feeding primarily on small algae fragments and other plants. When algae supplies grow scarce, many fish die off. Their decomposition process raises the acidity of the water, gradually wearing away at the ground below and forming sinkholes. Oh, I guess they formed the... They formed this. Yeah, you can tell because of the, the rocks. They actually have, like, water markings. Ha ha ha. Let's go. What do you got? Oh! I'm a jet. Nope! Yeah! I'm getting better. I'm getting better. That's good. Oh, I got a seed. Nice. I don't know what the. What do we do with seeds? Well, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll figure out later. Let's keep going. I, dude, guys, I am stuck here. I don't know where to go. Um, let's go back up. Well, there's monsters, so. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I like how it's cut of his head. So I guess since there's monsters, we're going the right way. Not monsters, but you know, the aliens. What do you guys call them? Life forms. Since there's life forms, we're going the right way, I believe. Go this way. Oh. What 
What's up, BD1? Nice job. Uh, Zord Thrive for Rocky Windy Habitats, where their low stance and adhesive grip provide fast and agile traversal over multiple surfaces like cavern walls. Highly sensitive to climate, they function slower in warmer temperatures than colder ones. Okay. I don't know what that. I think they're talking about the wall. Or... See something in there? What's going on here? What the heck was that? Oh! What? What the heck? What kind of mystical avatar stuff is this? Um, I guess we gotta do what they do. Oh, I can run on walls now, right? Oh wow, look at this! It's difficult, master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible. But with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Um. Oh. Run and jump towards rigid walls to wall run. Oh, nice! Again. Nice! Now, reach my position. This is definitely gonna help. Reach it! Yes. Wall run. Run on rigid walls to reach new areas. I did it. Persistence and the force is my ally. So let's go this way. Remembering old tricks. How far? Oh, not that far. <laughs> I was like, how far can I? Oh, wait, we're supposed to go. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Okay, so now that path is open next to the meditation thing that we took. Well, I guess it's not really next to it, but... How do we get there? Because we're all the way over here. Um, I kind of want to go over here and see what's over there. Because now I can climb walls. So, let's do it to it, guys. Nice. Parkour. 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 Oh, nope. Can I make it up this wall? Come on, come on! All right, guys, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. I think I can actually do it. Parkour, parkour, parkour! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, I was so close! All right, guys, I don't even go up this way. Uh, let's go this way then. Parkour. Yeah. It's like that, that, <laughs> the episode from The Office. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> they were just... <laughs> I like that. They were just jumping over trash cans and stuff. I not really doing anything. Um, I want to get that. Uh, let's just go with this. Let's just do this. Parkour! Hiya! Hiya! Oh! Dude, I'm a... <gasps> I'm a genius! I'm so good. This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Yeah, but is there really Jedi's? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read it, guys, because it's just gonna say the same thing that Cal said. So I learned my lesson, but I will still do the research, uh, like the animals and stuff. That's, that's kind of interesting, like the Pagano, and it also keeps you like certain advice that it gives you certain advice that we can take. So, all right, guys, we are progressing. Um, I guess we go farther. Oh! Let me see if I actually got like XP for killing the Bogana level for the second time. Oh, I did. Should we kill him one more time, guys, just to just to get two? You know what? Let's kill him one more time just to get two. Yeah. Let's do that real quick, just to get two. Who knows? Maybe maybe we'll cut off his tongue this time. If we get two points, then that'll be good for us because, you know, we can uh, get our points and stuff. So. Okay. What the heck? What the? What? 
Is he dead? Is he dead? Or... What was that? What? <laughs> what the heck was that? What the what? Let's kill this guy for points too while we're at it. Why not? Okay. What the heck was that? He just <laughs> he just fucking flew up like. But <laughs> I mean, whatever. I I guess. Did whatever. He almost whatever. So that was interesting, huh? Wow. Okay, guys, we're close to. Uh, I'm just gonna find him again because we're close to the getting two, and I really want health and that new uh, that new thing. So. Okay, I should have dodged that. There we go. Okay. Okay. Did I just die? No! Oh no! No! When you, when you die, you lose all your XP gains since your last skill point. Oh no! Damn it! No! Oh, I I was too greedy. I was too greedy. You know what? Oh, I was too greedy. Wow, that sucks. Oh man, I flinched when I should have scurried. Time for round two. Time for round two. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry. Ah, oh, I should have cut the tongue. But you know what? It's okay because we acquired what we need to acquire. So, let's go up. Um, I almost died again. Um, yeah, that would have been kind of embarrassing. But, um, we did it. So, it's all good. Let me just rest up. Because now we have two skill points, so it was worth it. Alright, so let's see. Let's get more health. Because I die a lot. So why not? Awesome. And, uh... Oh, now I kind of want to get this. Or should we get... No, we should get this because... Yeah, we need to be more offensive. So now we got health. And now we can be more... Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Alright. So this shows the dash. And then this will probably show the flip. That was actually kind of cool. Alright, so now we can be more offensive. Because we have more health and stuff. Although... Uh, the next one... Will be more force power. Because... I think that's going to come in handy soon, so... Oh yeah, look at my health, it really increased, guys. Alright. Let's continue, and let's, uh... I guess, I don't have to fight that thing no more. Awesome. What's in here? Can I make this, oh, I can't make this jump. Let's go this way, let's go this way. I already got that, alright. So let's go over here. Can I fix this now, or...? Nope. Oh my days, what do I do? I really don't want to fight this thing again, but we're going to fight it again. Ah, I tried to cut the tongue off, but it's okay. Oh god, he's going to eat me! You missed him! Alright, well, let's go. Alright, well, there's that. Let's kill this. I don't know where to go. Oh, my days. Let's go over here. Um, 
I guess we're gonna go this way. Again. Um. Uh. Can we fast travel to like different areas of the map? Oh! I have to go left! Okay. The elevator's right there! Oh my days, dude. I'm a potato. There we go! Alright, I figured it out. Nice! So now we go back up. And then... We go... Over here, I guess? Cause the vault's right there. We're so close, guys. Um, let's go this way. Nice, 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 nice. Can I meditate? Yes, I can. Beautiful. I, I am not excited to, to see the harder creatures because I'm over here struggling with the, uh, the first level ones. So. Alright, let's see if I can practice with this guy. There we go. That wasn't too bad, right? Alright, let's jump up here. Did we make it finally? Nice! Finally, we made it to the freaking vault. Are you see there? Oh, it's on. Oh, we're racing. Let's go. Oh my God, he's so fast. What the heck? He's like a spider. Oh, did I win? We're not finished yet. Oh, I totally won. Okay, okay. He probably would have won. Probably. Oh, he definitely would have won, dude. He, he was. Wow, look how nice this place looks. How beautiful. And done. Look at that planet or moon. All right, let's continue. I can meditate here, which is good because it's a safe point. Which is good for me. Uh, let's rest up. I don't know we don't need it, but whatever. Let's rest up. All right. And uh, let's open the vault because we're finally here. Nice. The structure has been here for centuries. It appears the only way to open the vault is by using the force. Wait, let me check around this thing, see, guys. See what I knew it. Uh, let's see what I'm scanning here. The wall. Inscriptions. The vault is built out of carnite, a hard stone rich in minerals. The inner walls are decoded with metallic plating and inscriptions. The glyph doesn't return. Oh, I'm sorry. The glyph don't return results in any galactic data bank. Suggesting the language has been lost to time. Time. Time does lose everything. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this. It's it's you know it's a, back in the the heyday. It was probably oh let's scan this. What's that? What's that? Yeah, probably pots. I was gonna say pots. Offerings. Oh. These relics contain material that aren't native to Bagano. Their fragile structure indicates they were purely decorative, potentially objects of religious significance. It's possible they were carried here as a form of pilgrimage. Find something? Hmm. Interesting. But... Oh! Whoa! What is going on? What? What the heck? What? That made no sense! What was that? What kind of Houdini hoodoo badoo is that, dude? What? Okay, well... Well, I'm in the vault now. What the heck was that, dude? How confusing. Alright, scan me. Or, scan this. Hope I get to meet... Oh. I did it, guys. I reached the You're vault. All right, BD. Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind. 
and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. <laughs> I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? All right. So, I guess we're, be going, we're going to be going to Zepho. Whatever the heck that is. Zepho, the matter with you. Ha 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 ha. That was horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Series of the Vault. My friend, my name is Jedi Master Eno Cardova. The Bagano Vault, constructed by the Zepho millennia ago. Granted me a vision of the Jedi's doom. To preserve the order, I've hidden a holocron detailing the names and locations of all known young force sensitives deep within the vault. To access the holocron, you must seek out the tombs of three great Zepho sages. BD-1 will aid you on your journey. He will be your guide. Okay. Um. I guess that was it. So I guess... I have to uh, locate those things, and I guess the vault will open. So I'm sure there's nothing here in the vault. I'm not gonna check, but time to go through this mysterious teleportation hole, teleporting hole. All right, let's meditate just for a saving point, and let's go. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. All right. Well, interesting. Oh no! Are you serious? Come on! Come on! What you got? Yeah, I know your I know your moves now. What's up? What's up? Okay, well, I should have cut the tongue there. What's up? So he does two. Oh! Oh! Come on! What you got? What you got? Ah, it didn't work. You missed him. Why is this one harder? Ah, yeah. oh, damn it. Alright, next time, next time, next time. I'm 
playing safe. I can't cut the tongue, guys. It's hard. What? Okay. Yeah, whatever. I'm not even gonna try. I guess we'll... Maybe next time. But... That was a bit hard, so... Hey, BD1. Let's heal up real quick. Um... Is there a way to get there super quick, or...? My game's kind of laggy for some reason. That's no bueno. Let's see, so that's closed. Um, uh, well. I can't go that way. So I guess we're gonna have to go this way anyways. Okay. Abandoned workshop. Wait, is a workshop left? Can I go in? The door is locked from the other side. Okay, well. Hmm. Let's go this way. What do you want? What do you see, BD1? Big dick. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Um. Dathomir, huh? My friend, I recently discovered the Cepho has some interesting in Dathomir. Strange for such a culture to have. Uh, okay, well. He said the same thing again. So. What is this? Is this another location? Thanks, BD1. Fade in your The orientation area will hit whoever was here knew the Jedi Order. Okay. Well, let's, can we please go through this door? Oh, thank God. Shortcut unlocked. Let's meditate. Nice. We still don't have any more skill points, so we're not even gonna. I am gonna try. Um, Should be a lot quicker than the way in. I guess we go this way. Jump over here. Come on, grab it. Yep. Good shit. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Jump. Nice. Nice. All right. Oh, there's a frog down there. That looks big. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Maybe next time. Probably later. Um, what's down here? There is an echo down here, though. But is that where the frog is at, too? Yep! D dude, no. <laughs> That's a trap. That is such a trap. I am not about to... I don't have any stem packs, neither. If I would meditate, I would have... You know what? You know what? Fuck it. it smells worse than Grease does. What's up? Oh god. Well, he what my dude, he kicked my butt. Holy cow. That's so ah. Uh, Jesus. Here comes along. Let's go, round two. I got this, guys. We're about to round two it. I never give up. I don't quit. Round two, baby. Plus, I need my, my things back now. It's a commitment. So. Round two! Yeah, he's hard. Come 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Round two, baby. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a Jedi master. I'm a Jedi master. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get these echoes. Okay, this is a big one. Where Boggling was killed. Was it trying to defend its family? Oh! Whoa! These Boglings fought back against an Octo. That's really trying to protect its family. Oh, that's sad. But I got a I got a life essence, so does that mean there's one out of three here in this area or well, or maybe we have to collect them throughout the, the game. I don't know how that works. I guess we'll. I guess we'll see, guys. If you know, leave it down in the comments, because I would like to know before I continue my journey. Um, but if not, I'll figure it out too. That's all right. Let's continue. Now, how do I get back? That's the. I guess that's gonna be the issue, huh? Wait, there's one there. Oh! Oh, yes, sir! There is one there! Um... Let's, uh... Look at that! Nice! The Jedi used this place to study the sphere above. Oh, I that's, still uh... The excitement. Oh, I guess it's a, uh... One for the Force. Okay. Damn, I got excited. I thought it was to be the health one. But I mean, that's good too. What's with the sphere? Can we do something with the sphere? I don't know if we can do anything with the sphere. We can try it though. I mean. I don't know if we can do anything with the sphere, guys. There might be something in there, though, like a echo. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna try something with the sphere. Can't climb that. Over here. Over here. Alright. Let's go here. Jump up. Can we actually, like, grab that? Or... I don't think we can. Let's continue. Because we gotta meet it back to. We gotta go back to Seer. So let's go back up here. Let's jump this way. Well, uh, I think after I get to the ship, I will end the episode. Because it's getting rather long, but it's okay. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what's up. Oh god, I just ran right off, huh? That's... <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That's something. Oh, God. Oh! I almost fell again. Hey, guys. Nice. Uh, where's he going? Scan. Okay, I'll look. BD1, big dick is so boggling. I'm looking. The boggling. Oh, I'm sorry. Boggling tunnels connect their nests and serve as natural defense against predators. Able to dig 5 meters per day, Boglins collaborate in Heckles, a large pack spending approximately one third of their lifespan digging an intricate tunnel network. Wow, interesting. Alright. Well. Um. Oh, here we go. Cutting, guys. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patrolling me fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. 
A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. She just keeps a holocron nearby. That's cool. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. That's the mirror's Zepho. It's your choice. All right. Uh, oh, hold on. Multiple entries. After revealing she no longer uses the Force, Seer sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1, who joined his quest. On their journey, Cal reached out to the Force, remembering his ability to wall run. Inside the vault, Big Dick projected a message from Master Eno Cordova detailing how he hid a holocron containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Cepho sages with Big Dick's aid. Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Alright, I am going to end the episode here. Uh, leave a like if you like this video. I will be making more. Like I said, I will be continuing this story. Uh, yes, so leave a like. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.